Hello, how are you? Uh, today we will uh, build calibration method for quantitative analysis uh, biodiesel in diesel fuel. Uh, we use FDIR uh, plus ATR accessory uh, using PLS method. So this uh, method refers to ESTM. Uh, this one. Okay. First, first step, we have to prepare a uh, mixed solution. Uh, biodiesel and diesel fuel to make a calibration curve so after that we scan each solution with FTIR so uh, this is some theory coming from thermo scientific so F because a node number this okay this is a calibration curve and yeah that's all Okay, um, this one is coming from Thermo, then this one is coming from F, uh, Agilent. So, the same method you see at the RMPLS method. So, I believe a whole uh, manufacturer of FTIR has uh, ethics note for biodiesel. So, okay. Now, I will uh, show you the spectrum what I already uh, I already scanned with uh, my FTIR. Okay, this one is the spectrum. I scanned from uh, B0, it means uh, pure uh, biodiesel. And this one is, I'm sorry, th this one is pure of diesel fuel, and this one is pure of um, biodiesel. So, from uh, this one is B5, it means 5% of um, biodiesel in diesel fuel. Okay, and this one B10, B15, 20, and so on. Okay. In this uh, method, in this theory, in this ASTM, uh, we focus with uh, absorbance around this area. Okay, so we have to common scale to ratio whole absorption. Okay, this is very nice absorption, and uh, we can see uh, the, the difference of. Um, Y axis it means absorbent, absorbent means um, concentration uh, in this um, region. Okay, so I I, I already have a uh, whole spectrum to uh, to um, make a calibration method, so I I need more uh, software. We call TQ analyze. TQ analyze is a, a method builder. Yeah. Uh, this software is designed for thermal FDIR. So here we have to choose the PLS. This one, partial least squares. So this one is a uh, method we are going to uh, make King. So the title is depend on your application like this. So this is my name. We call John and the path length. Uh, I choose constant because uh, I have I have constant uh, path length, which uh, the diameter of uh, crystal ATR. So I choose constant. If you know, if you know, uh, I mean, like um, like a cuvette. Yeah, we have to choose known, and I choose constant. 
So the component is uh, the perimeter you want to put. So I write here biodiesel, the abbreviation D, and unit is um, percentage. Digit is uh, two digit, and analysis low, analysis high because I will spare the calibration curve into uh, two parts so the first one is from 0 to 30 okay uh, leaving 10 the standard we have to open the standard it means uh, spectrum uh, we already uh, we already uh, scanned with our FDIR so open standard and yeah um, This one is P0 to P30. I open it, and here we have to write down the value. So B10, we write down 10, and 15, and 20, and 25, 30. Oh, so sometimes uh, the, the value is not. Um, uh, it's not short uh, by from the uh, lower value to higher value, but it's normal. So just write down here, same with the spectrum title. Okay. So my tips is if you uh, saving the spectrum, please write down uh, this value for a spectrum title. So it's uh, gonna be uh, easy to uh, to write here. So remembering. Okay, the spectrum we leave uh, like this. No, no editing region. We have to we have to edit region. Yeah, the region around here, uh, around around here. Okay, then we have to um, uh, use two point baseline here. I have to drag drag the baseline. In uh, ESTM, there is um, a baseline and area you you have to choose. So this area around around uh, this value, okay? So we have to choose here area. So um, after that, we have to select save and calibrate. Calibrate without validation standard. If you have validation standard, we choose the validation standard. Uh, so, for this moment, I don't have a validation standard, so I just click without validation and click continue. So, this one is calibration curve, um, this one is uh, root mean square error. So, this one is correction coefficient, it's very nice. Um, very nice calibration curve. So, uh, last next step is we have to saving the method. Okay, saving the method. So this one is already biodiesel, but now I will make. Biodiesel point two. Okay, uh, this one is we call uh, a quant or a method. Uh, it's method uh, we can edit in the future. So now it's just saving. Okay, there is a warning system. No allow with. Um, So just write the uh, base so two. So saving. So I I already had um, calibration curve from a zero to the uh, this one is zero. Okay, this one is thirty. So I have uh, zero to thirty. Um, Concentration. 
So now I have to close this. Click to the Omni. Click to the Omni. I have to clear all and open my sample. This one I have to sample for for test the calibration curve. Open it. Always common scale. And I open um, full standard to quick check uh, the absorption of sample. Okay, I have to click common scale to display everything here. Okay, let's find where is my sample. So this is my sample. Two spectra selected and uh, in the spectrum it should be uh, red color so red color around here here we know uh, roughly the, the concentration because just we click here the uh, value is uh, around 25 and here is 20 so 25 and 20 in between so my sample here okay so i guess the concentration around um around 20 23 or 24 so let's check with our quant the first one is we have to select quant method we already made uh, this one is biodiesel 2 i have to open it and uh, select select the sample turning to the red color and just click analyze and quantify so this one is concentration concentration of the biodiesel so here is a uh, full spectrum fit it means the spectrum is very uh, very similar with the calibration curve spectrum so nothing warning here uh, yeah all good i think so now we're going to another sample quantify this is concentration the unit is percentage so i think that's all that's all the method uh wielder yeah method calibration curve so if you need so my assist i will put my email address in this youtube channel um if you need um if you need uh, the spectrum and method uh, i can share with you but please uh, give me some donation for uh, continue uh, collecting some method and uh, tutorial in this channel thank you very much